done quite a bit in the Limbury before. I worked a lot with Kathy Marston, who was a previous associate here, um, choreographer, and together we made a couple of pieces, one called Ghosts, which is based on Ibsen's play, and a number of other pieces, as well as working with Will Tuckett on Pleasure's Progress and Thief of Baghdad, and now with Liam, Liam Scarlett. So it's very exciting to get the chance to rethink about the way you use the space and really challenge it and learn what works and what doesn't work and really understand how it works. I did a music degree at Oxford and then came into theatre design on a kind of slightly backward route. And music's been really interesting in the way it's informed what I do. I think often the form of music and understanding how it's made up is very useful when it comes to designing the piece. So it's kind of very quick and very easy for me to understand how the music works structurally and thematically but also it informs other thoughts of I kind of go, well, that sounds a bit like this, and then that will lead me aesthetically to a new choice. So it's quite, it's quite useful in that respect. It's interesting designing for dance, theatre and opera and, and the other things that I seem to do as well is that they inform one another in very interesting ways. So it, rather than them becoming you design for one thing or another thing and you have a particular style for each, I think it's interesting how I've learnt my craft of costume particularly from dance, because I did all my early work in dance. And it's working out how clothes move and how fabric works on a person, rather than it just becoming an aesthetic, what does this look like, and I like the colour orange and this particular fabric. And my kind of interest in dance has informed the way I use space and the way that you can't often put things all on the floor in a conventional ballet, but you can use the entirety of three-dimensional space around. And because I'm so interested in holding space when I design, so it's about holding the air that, that surrounds the performer as well as the performer. So it shapes them and it draws the attention to them to a certain extent. And in dance, it can really help frame that person who's in a kind of big 10 meter square of space. As a designer, I create model boxes to kind of show and communicate my ideas to a director or a choreographer through to the people that are building it as a set. One of the weird things and particular things about a model box is that it's a perfectly scaled down thing. So it's like a doll's house. Everything is created in miniature 25 times smaller than what you see on stage. But with the idea that you can then for scale up, whether it be the scenic art on it, the painting on it, or you can imagine yourself as that person in that space, moving around and understanding what relationship you have to say a staircase or a window or a sofa. And they're fiddly little things that take forever to make, but they're quite useful.